It's your first day at work. You just finished medical school. Barely. Yet you still get a job as a surgeon, and today's the big day. Your first day. You sit down at your desk, you, you start to get the jitters as the phone starts to ring. You can't even pick it up without knocking it to the floor. It's like your fingers won't move right, and there's an operation scheduled shortly. How is this going to go well? Yep, this is Surgeon Simulator 2013, an interesting game where you take control of a new doctor named Nigel and assist him with completing some operations, but not in a completely serious kind of way. First off, the song that you've been hearing in the background is the opening theme, which I think is pretty cool sounding. Right when you start, you're throwing it at the reception desk, which functions as a, almost like a practice area and the menu screen. Hover the hand over the clipboard to choose options or operations, or just play around with the various objects thrown all over the place. The controls are easily figured out, although I remapped them to be easier. Basically, you move your arm with the mouse. Left clicking moves the hand downwards towards the table, and right clicking changes the position of the hand. Pressing a key that's defined in the controls each moves a finger, allowing you to pick up objects or make some familiar hand gestures. That's all you need to know. You may be thinking, what? That's it? And yes, that's it. There's a control screensaver playing on the monitor to the left in reception, but it doesn't really tell you a lot. There's no real tutorial, but instead, you're invited to play around as much as you want, and by hitting escape, you can even choose to re reset the reception to keep playing around with it. You may want to keep fiddling around with things, because when you finally choose an operation, you'll be thrown right into it with the goal of the surgery. That's it. You're given a patient, tools on either side, and an objective, and it's up to you to figure out how to do it. That's why you went to med school, isn't it? Taking out each organ to get to one in question could be an ordeal. There's multiple ways to do everything. How should you take out the rib cage? Use the bone saw? The drill? A hammer? It's up to you. What about the scalpels? Do you want to skip that and just go right for the saw? The most difficult thing about the game is sometimes placing in the new organs. For example, the first operation is a heart transplant. Yeah. That's a great place to start as your first surgery, huh? Anyway, once you finally figure out how to rip the old heart out, you need to place in the new one, but you need to orient it so that it's in the right place. This can be frustrating, but the game gives you a bit of a buffer. Thankfully, you don't need to sew the person back up. So all the stuff that fell to the floor, that's what the interns are for, right? There's a slight problem with the game. There's only really three operations. There was a Team Fortress 2 update where you can play as the medic trying to do an Uber on the heavy, but I can't for the life of me figure out how to get the Uber over the damn heart in the right spot. I swear I get close, but then it just doesn't look like it. This operation can be frustrating just because you have a very limited selection of weapons. The spy's knife takes the place of the scalpel, and the engineer's wrench for the hammer. You ever try breaking a rib cage by giving love taps with a freaking monkey wrench? It doesn't work so well. Other than the TF2 operation, you only have the heart transplant, a double kidney transplant, and the easiest of all, a brain transplant. Once you figure them out, the only real replay you have is to see if you can get a better score, which means you get a quicker finish time and lower blood loss. The other option you have is to try ambulance mode. One word of warning. If you think that the regular operations are frustrating, don't even try ambulance mode. This alternate mode takes the three surgeries and shoves them into the back of a speeding ambulance, complete with hairpin turns and speed bumps. It may not sound too bad, but when the driver takes a freaking 90 degree turn at 150 miles an hour, all of your instruments are flung all over the place. And that includes out of the back of the vehicle. Speed bumps are equally as bad as all the tools are propelled into the air, and possibly into your victim's cavity. 
I once killed a patient because a speed bump caused what looks to be an oxygen tank or something to bounce into the cavity, causing a massive blood loss. I can't even finish a damn heart transplant, so to those that can do so, more power to you. It may sound like the controls bogged down the game a bit, but in reality, it's actually made that way. It's not supposed to be easy, but making them so simple it's creating a humorous environment to operate in. There's a few oddities in the details though that I just need to mention. First, Nigel doesn't even wear gloves. Seeing that he just chucks intestines and kidneys wherever he wants, gotta question the cleanliness of the hospital as a whole. Second, does Nigel even fasten his watch? It sure doesn't seem like it. Sometimes he'll just fall off, once again, often into the victim. Gah. Now, it took me a while, but if you're having trouble, there is a green needle that you can inject into the patient. This will stop the blood loss, or at least decrease it down to a minimum. This can be very useful, especially if you're stumped and don't know how to proceed. I've read that somehow there's a way that you can stab yourself, essentially drugging you. That's just what you need. A drugged, dirty surgeon. I know it's short, but that's all I have for this game. What can you expect from a game that really only has three real operations? Don't get me wrong, this is a fun game, but I'm hoping more will be added to it at some point, preferably as a free download. I think I bought it on the last Steam sale for about 4 bucks, so I can't complain too much about the price. Oh, and if there's one thing I learned about this game, it's that I'm not ready to be a doctor. Final score? 7 out of 10. This is Reaper. Happy fragging.